Hello everyone. So for today, I was thinking quick show through of this or the rest of these. This is the last batch of pockets that I had made. Just want to do a quick show through. And these ones I did emboss instead of stamp normally. So all right and let's go through these quick the tags from yesterday or for me today so just quickly flip through show how they ended up This was just a fun little project here. And honestly, this is how, <laughs> how much we've made already together. So I mean, I am gonna probably keep some for future projects and stuff like that. But again, we'll be definitely getting through it. All right, today I wanted to do painted uh, journaling cards. So I took some of them pieces that we were having tags on and figured we could paint on them, do different things, stamping on them and stuff like that. Just have a little bit of a play. So I'm gonna get some of my stamps out here just to show what we can do with these and some painting. Ooh, what about a Christmas themed one? That would be fun. Um, let's see what else I have. Out and about. That would be fun to paint, maybe. I have some of these acrylics. I have lots of butterflies. Ooh. Lots and lots of butterflies. Here's another pretty butterfly one. Just trying to look and see. Ooh, this might work too. <laughs> I haven't even opened this. So let's just take that out. All right. So just again, this is just for fun. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I just want you to see what kinds of things I try to do. Get some acrylic blocks out. All right, I'm just gonna grab my archival ink because it's waterproof. And let's get going with this. I wasn't completely prepared for this one. I'll be honest, I forgot to grab my acrylic paints out, so we're just gonna make do with what I have. I just thought journaling cards are fun, but I like to mix it up and not have the same thing over and over again. So, let's do this. Just want to see how this is going to imprint. That looks actually really cool. So let's go for it. I just, again, I want to show you that there are multiple ways to 
have a bit of fun with what you have and just make things look good based off of that, you know, have fun with it. You don't necessarily have to have everything perfect every single time. And I may not paint all of these. You can stamp, you can paint, you can do whatever you feel like doing. Ooh, that one turned out kind of gorgeous, didn't it? Let's do another one with this one. You could use colored pencils to color them in, not just watercolor. Colored pencils, like these ones I'll probably do colored pencils. This one I'll do watercolor, but. And I just take old sheets of coffee dyed paper and these will make lovely, again, it just makes it more textured looking coffee dyed paper now this one I think I'm gonna use this and it's a lot of people say hold it for 15 seconds before for taking it off. Yeah, again, this would be cute to watercolor. Just really fun. All right. We'll use this one next. It's like not holding in the middle. All right, something for that one. I think it's something like this. Would be cute. It's okay. Again, there's some lines there that just did not want to go down. Probably didn't hold it down long enough, which happens. <laughs> I'll admit it. I do that. Hold it. That one works. Again, I'm just playing at this point.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, I think the 15 second rule definitely applies. If I just stick to it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Again, it definitely looks way better when I actually do it that way. Something small but long. Yeah, I don't remember which brand this is, so don't quote me on what it is because, yeah. I don't remember. I'll be honest. Yeah, just beautiful rose. So I think I got this before I understood Ally Express sells items that they are cheaper. Yes, don't get me wrong. But I didn't realize they sold items that were sometimes stolen from other artists like for example Artie Mays. Mom, I need something to drink. Okay, get yourself something to drink. I mean eat. Then go ahead. Yeah, these are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Little stamps. All right. Well, I've done enough, I think, to, for you to get the point of the stamping so I'm just gonna put these a little bit away take out my watercolors here and let's have a little bit of a play these are just cheap watercolors from um whatchamacallit from Amazon it was like the cheapest I could find so that's what I use. Oh, that's a big tip. Okay. I hope I had another one in here. Nope. All right. Well, then I guess this one's going to have to work. I'm just grabbing <laughs> some of this red that I already used and I'm just going to move this off to the side here a little bit. And again, this is a great way to use up your pages. If you make mistakes, you make mistakes. It's not that big of a deal. 
again I just want to use what I have already in here and voila we got a cute little journaling card I mean again it don't take much to have quite a bit with this a little goes a long ways and it does curl the paper a little tiny bit but when it dries the curling will go away not a big deal I'm just going to wipe it off. I have this green already on there, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this green. Might as well use what I already have. Not sure what I use this for, this green, so I'm just using it. And again, I'm just going to wipe some of this off. And it reactivates a lot of this, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just reactivating watercolor that I've already tried using. To just reuse what I have. I think I used a mixture of browns and reds together actually for this one. All right, I'm thinking little bits of red again here, and I'm gonna wipe off because I want it mixed in with another color, and this is exactly what I do. I could be using plain copy paper, I guess, but I have a little spray bottle here. There's this like bronzy color and I just think that mixed in with this red would be just fun little mix for this piece. So it'll give off a little bit of a glimmer I'm hoping. doesn't I got a backup plan and set here no it really isn't giving it a glimmer it kind of dimmed that red so it's a nicer color though don't get me wrong okay so when I kind of want a little bit of a shimmer to my paper, I'll grab some gold and bronze colors and just add it to the background there. So like with these ones, I'm going to grab some bronze and gold and just 
lightly rub it against here kind of like a dry brush way but you'll definitely improve its whole look and everything else just add a little shimmer to it which sometimes that's what it needs is a little bit of shimmer shimmer and shine <laughs> enough to give it that vocal point but also enough to again just give it a bit of a shine so I'm not destroying what's already here just giving it a little something I know I just switched it to bronze and just like making it a bronze rose I'm excited about what my plans are for tomorrow. So this one, or today's video may seem a little redundant. We've already done stamping, you know, why not do something else? I just, I wanted to Again, have a bit of a play. Otherwise, it gets kind of redundant doing the same looks over and over again. I'm just grabbing this light purple and I don't paint much I'll admit it I just I don't so <laughs> if you're looking for the best watercolor artist I'm probably not it but again I'm just having a bit of fun here But we add blue to this part. All right, and then after I get this blue off, the brush will go for this like the pink ish color. Perfect for the butterfly wings. It's kind of like a milk pink type of look. Very pretty. Again, it just just play with what you have. Don't worry about what other people are going to say or think or anything else. Just have fun. If you're going to... You know, it. it's all about having fun. It is not... If this seems like a chore to you, don't do it. Watch me do it. Again, I, I don't mind. If you can't afford to do something like this, take children's paint. I mean, it's it ain't that bad. 
I've done children's paint for a very long time and it took me a long time to talk myself into buying a better paint actually because I was stuck in this whole I don't want to spend money on paint that I might not like and all that jazz I just again I didn't want to and now that I have this it took me a year to get myself to not hoard it <laughs> so again just take your time do you have watercolor paints and stamps use them if you don't you don't don't worry about it live through me <laughs> that's my answer there Let's use a little gold on the outside of this. Again, the gold gives a little bit of a glimmer there. Not much, but just a little. All right. Now I'm going to use some glimmery blue for this lily type. I think it's a lily. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. But I really like this. And again, I'm not the best watercolor artist. I'll admit it. But at least I'm trying. I'm trying something out of my range new. I'm not trying to be professional. I'm just trying to be me. These ones I'm probably going to leave as is. Well, I might just grab a little gold again and just swipe it around it. Actually, what I'm going to do is this. You're probably thinking, why is she spraying directly on the paper? Well, you'll see in a few seconds here. I'm getting the entire thing full of this gold mica watercolor. I know that seems strange why I do that, but I like that goldish look on this one. So that's what I'm doing with that one. This one I'm just going to leave plain. Actually, I might just do this. See what it picks up and leave it be. I let it pick up a little bit of that. All right, this one, instead of that gold, I have this like reddish mica type color sitting here and uh, like a copper well the left the one was a copper so let's just put some of this red on it again I am and it's also reactive to the distress spray too so again if you don't want 
to take the time and watercolor everything or you're not sure what you think and that type of thing do an entire thing of it it's okay it's okay it, it might curl a little that's fine have fun so I mean we got quite a few done in just a few short minutes this one just has speckles and again it it just comes together and it's a fun little play and you get a bunch of them together so this one I'll probably not show you the final results necessarily just because but make sure I clear clean this brush off and again I'll, all I do is take my coffee dyed paper and I have fun with it because Honestly, when we're done and through with this paper, I might actually turn it around and use this other side. But then when you go to stick it in a journal, it looks different. It ain't exactly what you'd expect. So again, have fun. Don't worry as much, just play. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to Check out my shop, My Hope Craft Shop on Etsy. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.